Hey, welcome back. Today I wanted to introduce you guys to a website called Libre Hunt. Uh, Libre Hunt is a, is a Linux distro website, but it comes with a little twist. It's pretty uh, fun and uh, it does some things that are actually awesome. So uh, with Libre Hunt, basically what you do is uh, it asks you a few questions and you answer them and then it'll spit out a distro that's supposed to be tailored to your needs, if that makes any sense. So uh, we're going to go through the website and take a look at it. Uh, just put in, you know, some basic information and whatever it spits out, we're going to take a look at that system. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Something different, you know what I mean? Instead of just uh, going to distro watch and looking and see what they have over there. This seems like something pretty cool. It's like a cool project. Just uh, let the system choose for us and then we'll take a look at the system itself. So... Uh, you can see right here, uh, this is LibreHunt. You have a few links up here. You have all distros, feedback, news, and about. And, you know, you can read through all of this and see what it all has to offer. So, you know, you have basic information like, uh, wait, what is Linux? And it tells you it's an operating system. And then operating system with a question mark. And then operating systems are the main software behind your phone or computer. Android, Windows, and Mac OS are operating systems. All right, so why should I use Linux? It's safe and private, no tracking. Well, I guess with the latest uh, Ubuntu and other things, seems like, uh, I don't know. A lot of people are making Ubuntu sound like it's gonna go the way of, uh, I don't know, kind of like being corporate, but we'll see. And it has information like it's fast, light and fast, it's open source, open source, it's got many flavors, awesome, awesome, but there are a million Linux distros. So this right here on the, on the very bottom is what we start our actually uh, choosing. So right here it says, choose a distro today. New to Linux, no idea what to use, confused by the gazillions of distros out there? Click next to begin discovering your perfect distro out of our curated list. So I'll go ahead and I'll click next. And then it says, uh, Linux expertise. How good are you with computers and Linux? So it has a beginner, medium, and advanced. So I'm going to go with the medium option, or should I go with the beginner? I'll go with the medium on this one. And then it says, old hardware support. Do you need to run your distro on old hardware? Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, timely updates. Do you want app-like updates, as in updates as they come, or OS-like updates, as in once in six months? I'll just put a usual. And we have a question here about gaming. Do you want the distro to have focus on delivering a good gaming experience? Or it doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. I'm not a game. Personally, I'm not a gamer, so it doesn't matter to me. So, And then look alike. Do you want a distro to look like something like Mac OS or Windows? Or it doesn't matter? I'm going to set it like to Windows. Touch support. That doesn't matter. Popularity plus more support. Would you want a distro with more popularity and support than something small and different? Yeah. So your options are no and yes. I'll just click yes for the hell of it. Then appearance. Would you want a unique experience and appearance the second you install it than something with a typical stock appearance? And do we want something that's stylized? Let's just click yes and see what happens. And now, we click on submit. Hit the submit button to jump in and find some distros today. So we'll click on submit. Yeah, you see right here, it opens up Ubuntu, Zorin, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Lite, Pop OS, Bodhi Linux, Farron OS, Frugalware, Puppy Linux, Deepin, Manjaro, Endless OS, Elementary, Chakra Linux, Kubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, KDE Neon, Ubuntu Budgie, and Xubuntu. Well, that's kind of like a pretty large amount of uh, distros that it chose for us. So, if we want, if we have to choose one right here, I guess it would just be a roll of the dice. So, uh, what have I not seen in a while? I think Bodhi uh, released just a new... Uh, well, not just recently, but I think uh, since the last uh, overview that I've done of Bodhi, I think they released a new version, so I should take a look at Bodhi. Let's go to the website. All right. 
And right here we have a Bodie Linux website. This is Bodie Linux, a lightweight distribution kitchen and a fast and fully customizable Moksha desktop. The 64 bit ISO built on top of the Ubuntu 22.04. And then it also comes with a 32 bit version. All right, so let's look for the downloads. Go right here to download. And standard release. So it's Bodie Linux 7.0.0. I'll go ahead and download this one. And it took me over to SourceForge. So I'll download it from SourceForge and we'll install it from there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and download this and then uh, I'll pause the video for now. And when we come back, we should be uh, ready to boot into Bodhi Linux or at least get into the installation of it. All right, so uh, I'll pause the video now and then I'll see you once we're ready to uh, take a look at Bodhi Linux. Okay, I have the uh, Bodhi ISO now in a virtual machine, so uh, let's go ahead and run through the installer and get it installed so we can take a look at Bodhi Linux 7.0.0. So right now my uh, language is selected as English, so I'll click continue. Keyboard layout, English US, is correct, click continue. And this is the Ubiquity installer, by the way. All right, it says right here, download updates while installing Bodhi, sure. And then install third-party software for uh, graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and digital media formats. Let's do it. Continue. Uh, this computer currently has deep in 23. That's the last system that we took a look at. So I'm just going to write over it. And then I'll click on Erase Disk and Install Bowling. And write the changes to disk. Continue. And our location selected correctly as Los Angeles. So click Continue. Now let me enter my user info. Give it a strong complicated password. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to click the login automatically. All right, it's doing this thing now. So it's going to go ahead and install Bodhi Linux. And once it has completed, we'll take a look at Bodhi Linux 7.0, recommended by Libre Hunt. Okay, installation has completed now. So we'll go ahead and click on restart now. And we are now rebooted into uh, Bodhi Linux 7.0.0. So uh, let's look for some system settings so we can fix the screen resolution. All right, now we got a proper screen resolution. So, all right. So this is Bodhi Linux and uh, it's a uh, version 7.0. So uh, let's take a look at the menu. So you see right here we have uh, applications, places, quick launcher, take screenshot, about operating system, settings and system and then in the applications right here on top if you go into that then you have your normal uh, menu layout so you have accessories preferences graphics internet sound and video and system tools and let's see we have a couple of uh, pinned applications we have a uh, Thunar file manager we have Terminology, which is our terminal emulator, and we have Chromium as our web browser. Then we have a system tray that has our power menu, has our uh, volume, has our language. I'm not sure what this is. Not oh, it's a notification, clip manager, and then your internet connections. So looking at the uh, pinned applications, let's open up Thunar, which is our file manager. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to make it uh, expand or make it bigger. It just scrolls up, scrolls down. Oh, there you go. All right, and this is Thunar. Usually you'll find this on the XFCE uh, desktop environments. But uh, you see right here, Thunar 4.16.10. All right, and then we have terminology. So let's take a look at terminology. And I don't see a space to get a about on it, so uh, let's see if we have simple programs like HTOP installed. I got uh, HTOP working. So we can see right here, we're using uh, 840 megabytes of uh, four gigabytes of RAM, and uh, we're not using any swap. And our load average is 0 0.43, 0 0.37, and 0 0.17. And we're only using four cores. And do Neo fetch. 
There we go. Now let's see if I can zoom this. No, it's not zooming. It's not zooming. It's not zooming. All right, so I'll do it manually. So it is uh, based on Ubuntu. So we have Ubuntu 22.04, it's based off of. And it says that that's what the actual OS is, but the kernel is uh, 5.15.0. Desktop environment is Enlightenment. All right. Well, let's go back to settings and see what else we got. We got modules, shells, key bindings, Steam. So right now it's on Moksha Green. Let's see if I click on default, how it looks. Yeah, default looks pretty good also. All right. And then wallpaper right here. Put a picture and it opens up. Uh, let me see if I go to pictures. Anything in there? Probably not. Let's go to root. Let's go to user, share, and backgrounds. And Bodhi. And is this the only one we have? And I'll click on use. I don't want to do that. Okay, click on OK. Apply. There you go. It's quite a few steps just to install the, the wallpaper. I mean, it would be simple just to use something like nitrogen or variety or something. Or just have a right click. All right, well, this is Bodhi Linux. Uh, just a uh, Something different. It is Ubuntu based, but it works. Uh, the Enlightenment uh, desktop environment works a whole lot different than your regular Ubuntu systems. But hey, there's something for everybody, right? So I'll go ahead and I'll leave the link to the download links for uh, Body Linux if you want to take a look at it yourself. Remember, if you're going to install something on a, on a production machine, I would uh, highly recommend that you test it out in a virtual machine first before you go bare metal because uh, you never know what you're getting into, okay? Take it from me. You will learn. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.